Hello and welcome to Badger Cam RC. In this week's video, I'll be reviewing my Probo Alpha patrol boat. Proboat's attempt at a jet powered patrol boat or PIBA from the Vietnam War era. I've owned this boat for about eight months at the time of making this video and thought it was long enough time to give it a decent review, as I've used it quite a lot. Out of the box, the Probo Alpha is a nice looking boat. It's got loads of detail and it lights up. And by fitting a servo into the included servo box at the front, the front guns can be made to turn along with the steering. One thing I didn't like about the Probo Alpha out of the box was the overall green of everything. Though it's a good base for adding your own shades, everything's just matte uniform green when you get this out of the box. And unfortunately, underneath this paint, it's a nice white ABS, which means scratches can and will show up. I wasn't so much bothered by this though, as shortly after getting it, I painted it all up and added loads of details and a crew and weathered it in to make it look more scale. And I think with these extra finishing touches, it really comes to life and it looks like a completely different model. There's tons of scope if you get this to really making the boat your own. Speaking of scale, this boat's a bit odd when it comes to scale as it's 1 16th scale in length, but 1 18th scale in breadth or vice versa. It's been a while since I looked it up, which is an odd touch, but for those who want a perfect one to one scale PBR, might be a negative. Doesn't really bother me though. Overall, the boat's well made and fairly durable. However, there are a few points which let this down. The guns and small details on the rear of the deck are quite delicate, so you've been warned. And the main boathouse, though made of soldered together wire, is fairly delicate. Nothing that means handling it is like walking on eggshells, but don't go running this at full speed near low hanging debris in the water. As if you hit something a bit solid, this is likely to break or be pulled off as it's only push fitted in. But under normal working conditions, this won't be an issue. Internally, the Probo Alpha comes with some nice branded electronics. The receiver is made by Spectrum. This is water resistant, not waterproof. And when you get it, it's low down in the hull. This is best moved higher up to prevent damage to this over time. I've replaced mine with a Flysky BS4. This has been more to streamline my controllers and I haven't actually had any issue with this as I moved it up as soon as I got it. The steering servo in this is also made by Spectrum and I've had no issues to report with this. The Alpha Patrol boat's power source comes from two brushed dynamite motors that power the jets. I've had no direct problems with these, but as you can see, after eight months of use, mine are starting to uh, rust up. Unfortunately, this brings me onto the main fault of the Probo Alpha Patrol boat. It ships in water. I've had a fair few attempts at fixing this. I've tried added silicon around the motors to stop any leaks. And um, I've tried better sealing off the rear access plate. As this being low down in the back of the boat uh, tends to collect water, which then drains down into the hull. I've also really stayed on top of jet maintenance, so it's not down to neglect. And I've oiled the prop shafts after each use with marine grease. This is fairly easy to do, but a little bit fiddly like everything maintenance wise, but still this RC boat ships in water. This has gotten worse over time as the first few runs I had with this, the inner hull was uh, nearly completely dry. This leads me to think that the leaking is caused either by vibration from the motors and letting stuff in around the seal, or that I'm doing something wrong with my prop shaft maintenance, though I have followed a number of guides on, I found on YouTube and um, can't find any fault in my method, but then again, I'm no expert. There could be something obvious I'm missing. But if anyone watching this has fixed this issue, please let me know in the comments section below. It's the one bugbear that I'd, I'd love to address. Anyway, over time, despite drying the boat out after each use and oiling the prop shafts and motors, this repeated exposure to water has led to them starting to rust up. And I'm pretty sure it's knocked a good chunk off the uh, motor's maximum working life. They're fairly cheap to replace, however, but I'm not sure how easy that will be to do as everything's pretty tight down there in the hull. I will say, to be fair to the uh, PBR, that the water shipping into the boat isn't to the stage where the boat's likely to sink. However, after about 40 minutes of sailing, which is what you'll get from the 7.4 volt 4600 LiPo shorty that you will need to get to uh, run this boat as the batteries aren't included, that it's going to need to be drained. Fortunately, the Probo Alpha Patrol boat comes with a built-in drain port. Simply remove the bung and drain out the water. I found that adding some sponges in between the motors helps keep the uh, shipped-in water contained and stops it sloshing around inside the boat. 
when it comes to handling, the uh, Pro Boat's a ton of fun to use. The two jets mean you can run it in very shallow water, and when the batteries are fresh, it really throws out quite an awesome looking wake, and with the two jets kicking out behind the back of it, it looks bloody awesome. I love running mine alongside bigger boats and uh, on the boating lake and uh, acting like they're going to be inspected for suspicious VC activity. I would advise new owners turn down the steering rate and acceleration rate, as it can be rather twitchy and turn at almost a handbrake stop if you oversteer at high speed. This looks rather dramatic and is fun to do when you get the hang of it, but it could lead to a risk of capsize if you choose to run this in really choppy water or high winds. I found that the Probo Alpha Patrol boat handles best when you ease off the throttle before steering as it makes the boat handle a lot less dramatically. I've seen a few people on YouTube who've added a running fin uh, just outside of the uh, motor on the back. I'll leave a link in the description below to this video. Uh, apparently this completely fixed this uh, interesting uh, quirk that the boat has and makes it a lot more uh, easy to handle if you're a ham-fisted driver. Fortunately though, if you don't want to do this, the controller that it comes with has a trim for both the throttle and steering and turning both of these down to about 50% will almost completely get rid of the problem, which is great for any kids or new sailors and will allow you to pass the controller over to someone else to have a go without much worry about them uh, doing anything stupid and sinking it. However though, once you've actually got used to the boat and you've used it a few times, this handbrake stop slam kind of doesn't become an issue as you get used to easing off the throttle as you turn. Speaking of turning, the Probo Alpha Patrol boat needs to be under power in order to steer as it lacks a rudder. And although it doesn't have reverse buckets on the jet drives, it can manage a very slow reverse crawl. But it's not enough to get you out of trouble should you get snagged in overhanging bushes. It is, however, highly maneuverable turning and tons of fun to use. Couple of points regarding the jet motors as a whole, not just on the uh, Alpha Patrol boat. Though they can run in very shallow water, the jet intakes will suck in and jam with small pondweed. So lakes covered in uh, duckweed and shallow runs full of silkweed should be avoided. Also, hitting big wakes or waves will deprime the motors, giving you a couple of seconds of lag before the jets reprime and normal working resumes. So, in conclusion, the Probo Alpha Patrol boat looks great out of the box, but it could be better. But it's still really nice looking for a ready to run boat and has lots of scope for scale customization, which will really bring the boat to life. The stock electronics that come with the boat are actually pretty good. It's nice to see some branded parts in something ready to run, but raise the receiver out of the bottom of the boat as it's water resistant, not waterproof, and there's going to be water down in the bottom of the hull. Handling wise, uh, it's tons of fun. It's got a few quirks that come with it being jet powered and it's a little bit twitchy uh, when you first get it, but it's moderately fast and very maneuverable. But with limited reverse, it's better driven carefully around other boats and debris and with gentle steering at high speed until you get used to it. Other than the guns on the back, the overall construction is fairly durable. Just don't go running it into low hanging branches if you want to keep the boathouse intact. The main drawback to the whole thing though is just the fact that it ships in a bit of water. This is easily contained by using a few sponges, but will lead to motor damage over time. If you don't mind that though, and you're after a scale patrol boat from uh, the Vietnam War era that's fairly priced, ready to run, you can't really go far wrong with it. I like mine. It's by far my favourite boat at the time of making this video to take out for a day sailing. I just wish it didn't leak so much. Uh, I'm going to carry on with my attempts to fix this, and uh, obviously if I do manage to succeed in this, I'll make a video of it. Really, it isn't a risk of it sinking, and um, as long as you really make sure you air it out and dry it and keep on top of it, yeah, the motors are going to take damage, but they all do eventually in the end anyway. Anyway, that's my honest look at the uh, Probo Alpha Patrol boat. I hope this video has helped give any prospective owners of this boat a good idea of what to expect from owning it. As always, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, have a good one. Look after yourselves.